What is going on guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to talk about if you should use CSS Grid, Flexbox or Bootstrap 4. Alright guys, I know that a lot of you are still not sure about which one you should use and that's why you ask me all the time in my live stream and in other videos in here. So I just decided to do this video about it. So let's start with the first thing in here and we're going to talk about performance, okay? When you are just using, like for example, for your projects, uh, you are not sure which one you should use. So if you want to uh, just like rely on performance, let's say, make your website load much faster and, uh, you know, perform much better, you should use definitely either one of uh, Flexbox or CSS Grid. That's because, you know, when you are using just like native CSS, because CSS Grid and Flexbox are part of a, a CSS, your website is going to load much faster and it's going to render all this CSS much faster. And when you are using Bootstrap 4, it's going to have loads of different files in there and loads of dif different things that you will be loading on your website for nothing because most of the times you will not use the full potential of Bootstrap 4. So it's always much better if you are if you want your website to load faster, to perform better, use the native CSS, like it could be, uh, like I said, CSS Grid or Flexbox. But, for example, if you want to build a website which uh, you want to build it faster, you want to make sure that it works well on all browsers, um, there is a lot of things that comes up like uh, from the box with a bootstrap that will help you build a website much faster. Let's say for example bootstrap comes with this kind of grid. Uh, it will set it up in, in seconds, in minutes for you. And if you have to build everything from the ground up with either CSS grid or Flexbox, it will take you a while to set up all of these things. And with Flexbox, it's just in there. You just have to call the classes and, and it can really speed up the process of, um, of your project. So as you can see now, for example, if you are thinking about performance, like building your website in a, in a way that is going to load much faster and everything, go for Flexbox and CSS Grid. If you want to build a website faster because you don't have too much time, you should use Bootstrap 4, okay? And that's why a lot of companies, they use Bootstrap 4 because it will just help help the teams and everyone just like build everything faster. And also, when you use Bootstrap 4, there is a lot of things that comes in, in that kind of uh, library that comes tested in all different browsers, okay? Because sometimes when you are building things in native CSS or something, uh, you need to put this kind of um, compat compatibilities with other browsers. You need to go and write it yourself. And in Bootstrap 4, all of these things comes like uh, tested and everything is working already. Now, okay, we got this difference between using Bootstrap 4 or, uh, or using, uh, for example, CSS Grid or Flexbox. Now, which one of the two you should use? Okay, so here it is. So, for example, Flexbox at the moment is the one that is more compatible with all the browsers, even like the older ones. And CSS Grid, because it's still recently new compared to Flexbox, there is still a couple of browsers that uh, they are still not very compatible. Not, not many of them, but uh, some older browsers cannot be like too much compatible with them. So really in here, what you have to see is, when you work as a web developer, as a, as a front end, as a front end web developer, especially, uh, you will work with clients. Let's say, for example, if your client has a, um, has an e-commerce website where they are selling clothes or they are selling whatever things they are selling in there. Sometimes there is like this kind of older people uh, that they they don't know too much about computers or you know these kind of things in IT. So they just use what comes with the Windows, for example, out of the box, which is like it can be Internet Explorer if people are using like old computers, or it can be Edge or something like that. And sometimes these people that are buying from from your clients that you are building the website for. It could be a considerable amount of traffic. Let's say that uh, this person that you are building a website to, 
uh, they have a traffic of let's say 5,000 people coming using Internet Explorer and if 5,000 people are coming to their website to try to buy things you want to make sure that their website is working fine for, for these 5,000 people because if you are not giving them the option, imagine, let's say, you are building a website that is not compatible with, uh, let's say, uh, Internet Explorer 8 or 9 or 11 or whatever, and then these people are coming to this e-commerce website and, and they can't use the website because uh, it's not working, your client will be losing a lot of money. So here, here it is, really. If you want to make sure that your your uh, projects are compatible like with most browsers, go with Flexbox. That's what I use mainly in, in all the companies that I have been working with. We use Flexbox because we want to make sure that our clients, their website looks fine in all the older browsers. But for example, if this is not a problem from some of your clients that uh, uh, most of their people that visit their websites are just using new uh, newer browsers all of this data is available through Google Analytics and all these kind of things uh, So you always need to take care of this in consideration You can use CSS grid. Okay, if the, all the visitors all the the people who are coming to these websites are People coming from the new browsers just use CSS grid. Okay, and really that's that's about it uh, You already know that uh, the difference between using Flexbox or CSS grid and now you also know the difference between using bootstrap or these ones uh, From the ground up. All right guys I hope this video gave you some kind of insight about which tools should you use for the job that you want to do And if you like this kind of video make sure to give me a thumbs up Subscribe to the channel if this is your first video and I'll see you in the next one